Salve Maria, welcome to our commentary on the liturgy of the seventh Sunday of Easter. In our Lord Jesus Christ here, St. John chapter 17, he shows how our Lord Jesus Christ wants to defend, defend the apostles. He wants to defend the apostles against what? Against their own evil inclinations, but also against temptation, against the attacks of the devil. And what does he do? Our Lord Jesus Christ could have made a world, God could have made a world without temptation, without difficulties, without situations that they would have to be as sheep being shepherded and defended against the wolves. No, our Lord Jesus Christ wanted a world in which we can battle to save our souls and to save the souls of the others, that we can conquer eternal life, as St. Paul says to St. Timothy. Now, to conquer eternal life means that we go through sufferings, difficulties, but that's how we gain merits. What, what would we think of a, of, a, of a general in the army that was always victorious because he never had any, because he never had any, any enemy in front of him, any difficulty, didn't have anything to fight against. Or uh, a student that got all A's on the test. Why? Because they, they gave the answers to the student. There's no merit to that. They don't, they don't need a reward for something like that. But God wants to give us a wonderful reward in heaven. And that's why he allows sufferings. But he teaches us to pray. So he prays, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given, given me so that they may be one just as we are one. So it's a prayer. But it's difficult sometimes to pray in this manner to pray with confidence, to pray with perseverance, to pray with faith, and to pray exactly knowing what we need to pray for. That's very important for our prayers to be as strong as possible. And I guarded them and none of them was lost except the son of destruction. But he was lost not because of our Lord. Our Lord did everything to save each and every one. And he does everything to save each and every one of us. I gave them your word and the world hated them because the world, when it's under many times, not many times, almost all the time, in some senses is influenced by the attacks of the devil. And many times it looks ugly to practice virtue in public. It's difficult because people might sneer at, the, the person might insult the person, make fun of them. But we shouldn't be worried about that. We should be worried about how to bring people close to our Lord Jesus Christ. And the world is not going to like that. The world is going to persecute. And if it doesn't persecute, we should do a, an examination of conscience. Well, maybe I'm not being as, as good as I should be because the world's not uh, saying anything. It's actually applauding me. We have to be careful. We have to, if we're true sons of Our Lady, children of Our, Our Lady, sons and daughters, and of Our Lady and of Our Lord Jesus Christ, then the world, mm, there might be many people in the world that will be happy, that will uh, help us along. But the world in general is probably going to have big problems with us. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil ones. So we have to live in the world, but not being of the world. We have to live in the world to do good to all the souls that we can and to offer up our sufferings to God, but we should not be of the world, letting ourselves be taken along by all the, the fashions, uh, the, ways, uh, the, the ways of the world. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth. 
As you sent me into the world, so I send them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they also may be consecrated in truth. So we have to live the truth, love of our Lord Jesus Christ here, doing good to those in the world, but not being of the world, so that we can be of eternal life. Our true homeland is heaven, and that's what we should strive for. The Lord be with you. May the blessing of Almighty God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you always. Salve Maria.